Hey guys. Um, I hope everybody's good. Thank you for all your support. Like, just this is ridiculous right now, the support that I'm getting and growing so fast on YouTube, it's crazy. Um, today this is just going to be something really raw and really real. Um, and I just want to share with you a concept of keeping going in your darkest times it's going to be quite a dark depressing one this one but you're going to have to go with me i'll try and keep it as brief as i can because i need your help this one i think you can tell with the tone of my voice is you know my usual jovial happy self is kind of a bit a little deflated today not because of anything that's happened to me but the story i'm about to tell you and also the video i'm about to show you um now john has known me for years and i've you know, um, his good wife Julie's also uh, <laughs> been like my main like uh, group here at ice hockey. John, in the last year, has gone through bowel cancer himself. His missus has not been very well. She's now in hospital. And the final, what's the words I'm looking for? The final straw is his house is attached to another house. His house has just been burnt down. So that's why we're starting him a GoFundMe, because he's a proud man. And when he invited you into that house, he sat you down and he looked after you like you were his his own daughter, you know. So a couple of days back on Facebook, I saw a message saying, well, I'll show you the message, actually. But basically, it was a very frustrated message from him, a very determined message that he wasn't going to be beaten. And... Like, he, John didn't want to be in the video, but the heartbreak in his eyes, yeah, and yeah, he's just putting up with so much right now. And I think another another form of richness is not money, it's if you can help somebody else out and you can make their life that tiny bit easier, or you can just make them laugh or smile. I think that's worth, well, you know, the universe, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if if you would be willing to share this right now, and if you feel the need to donate, if you don't want to donate, that's fine. <laughs> If you're willing to donate, you know, five bucks goes a long way. And we can get John, you know, he's going to have to have a new roof, a new um, floor in the middle, uh, top floor. He's going to have to have a new bottom floor. Because when I was just stood on this floor, there was, you know, like this much water on it and stuff. Absolutely crazy. I just filmed it very briefly because it wasn't safe to be in, to be fair. But um, as he'd given me his permission to film it and stuff. So I just wanted to basically present you with... This is the situation, guys. I need your help. So, if anybody is willing to help... Um, also, yeah, sorry, one last thing I need to mention. The next-door neighbours, where the fire actually broke out, they're a young couple. Um, the young couple don't have insurance. They've got a £102,000 mortgage and no insurance. So, right now, if anybody has the heart and feels the need, please just send them all five books because it will go a long way into, you know, helping John come out of this massive chaos and frustration in his life right now. And the next door neighbours, and they were such lovely people as well. I don't think I need to say any more. I think just just watch the film. If you, if you want to share and donate, that would be amazing. Let's get a bit of that. You can actually see. I love you. I love your new um, skylight in the roof. Yeah. God. And that was your ceiling. Jeez. Wow. This is insane. Am I safe to go over there? You should be very, very careful. Be careful. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. If I go through the floor, you can just keep me for a while. Through the floor, that's solid. Every, everything above. Oh my gosh. What was it? was the cat here or? Yes. Oh no. Is the cat all right or not? Yes. Oh thank God. She uh, found a safe space. Oh my god. Am I alright to go up here? You can, but I'll be very, very careful. Okay. Just of the roof and that. I, I got off upstairs day four yesterday and all the roof tiles fell into. 
floor. Right. I will be very, very uh, fast uh, and very, very careful. Yeah, I'll shit myself up. <laughs> I'll shit you. Oh, God, right. I will be careful because the right don't fancy. You don't have to top the turn right. Yeah. Then bathroom seems probably. Oh, God. The, the worst place in the bedroom, which is the far right. Oh, my God. Look at all this. Oh, bless you, John. Whoa, oh my god. I'm being very, very careful here, guys, because, oh my god. Talk about the skylight. Oh my days. I can't believe this. Jesus. Wow. Oh my good grief. Let's just get a better shot of that roof bit there. Oh wow. As you can see that was the loft. Good lord. That is completely crazy. Some spooky going on. I don't, I don't believe in all that crap. Uh, we can't find one safe place in the house to go. Go on. Which is the back bedroom under bed. Wow. That's the only place that's not been touched. Wow. That's uh, definitely a safe bit then. Yeah. They went a bit lost. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all that John's got left. This little pile here, two suitcases and a few bags. And a cat. And a cat. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, she's, a, she's a prima donna, she likes to take a photo, anyway. You're gorgeous, kid. I'm so glad that you are okay. Of all the things that you randomly see. <laughs>